Hello and welcome back to A Swift Look. I'm Zoe Jewell. Happy Friday. We are just two weeks away from the release of the Tortured Poets Department. That's right. In two weeks time, we will be on here discussing Taylor's new music, which is so exciting. Let's start the countdown now. But until then, we still have Taylor Swift news to discuss as always. First story of the day, something that the actual story is not that important. It's more of just like the reporting and the headline of the story that I want to get into probably a little bit more. But uh, Taylor Swift was spotted out and about in Los Angeles on Thursday night, April 4th, um, having a little birthday celebration with some friends. Well, obviously, it wasn't her birthday. It was her friend's birthday at a local pub, gastro pub type place in LA. Um TMZ got the photos, wrote the article about it, that she was spotted at this restaurant, sitting in a, in a booth with some friends, eating some food. Um, and the source said that Taylor was there for about two hours. Um, she said happy birthday to somebody. Then she got out of there. And actually, her security then came in to the restaurant once she had left and paid the tab for everybody in the group, which is really nice. The thing that I wanted to actually discuss though was more the title of this TMZ article because the title said, Taylor Swift pops up in LA bar for B-Day party, no sign of Travis Kelsey. And I just want to dive into that a little bit more because it is so funny to me how whenever Travis does something or when Taylor does something and they're not together, people are like, Travis Kelsey does this thing without Taylor Swift. Like like Travis Kelsey spotted in Cleveland restaurant, no sign of, of Taylor Swift. Or Taylor Swift spotted doing this thing, no sign of Travis Kelsey. They don't have to do literally everything together. <laughs> They're not attached at the hip. They are independent people who are in a relationship who do a lot of stuff together. We've seen they've been on vacation together. They go to parties together. They travel around the country together. They go to lunch together. They do a lot of stuff together, but they don't spend all their time 24-7, 365 with just each other. And I was thinking about this in relation to probably my own life and I'm sure your guys' lives too. Like when you have a friend, if, 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 if it's a friend's birthday, you might just go by yourself and you won't bring your partner with you to like every single event or thing or celebration or whatever that you do. Um, And it sounded like from the article, she was there for a couple hours, did the whole classic, I'm going to drop in, have some food, say hi, and then I'm going to leave, right? It's not like a big, huge ordeal. Um, And when you're someone like Taylor Swift, everything you do has to be so carefully planned out and orchestrated. And I mean, she attracts attention no matter where she goes, wherever she is. And so just her going to this party was probably stressful enough because it's like, I'm going to this gastro pub place. What if people are like bothering me? Or what if people make a big deal or in a big scene? And what if it affects then everybody else I'm at the party with? Like she has to think about that stuff all the time. And if she's bringing Travis Kelsey with her to all these things too. It's just an added layer of attention and stress and whatnot. And also Travis Kelsey has a life and has plans and things that he wants to do too. Like, I don't know, this whole narrative, whenever they're out doing something that it's like, why aren't they together all the time is kind of crazy. And I think we sort of need to take a step back and realize that just because two people are in a relationship doesn't mean they have to spend 24 seven together all the time. Um, so I just thought that headline was a little bit funny. and um, But nice to see that Taylor is able to go out, live her life, spend some time with her friends. I think that's great. Like I said, we're just two weeks away from her new album coming out. Still no word as to whether or not she's going to be doing any press. We don't have any idea of like any special, I don't know, performances or appearances or... And I'm, we probably won't know, honestly, until like the week that the album's coming out, um, whether or not she's going to go on talk shows or whatnot. I, I kind of think she will like at least do like one or two. I, w- I wouldn't be surprised if she pops up on Jimmy Fallon or <clears throat> if she does something um, to talk about the album and, and chat about the songs and all that stuff. But as of right now, she's kind of kept a pretty low profile, which I think is strategic because I think she's building up. She's like making people kind of miss her in a way, because again, she hasn't done anything super public and out there and like a real public appearance so that when she does do it for the album, everyone 
what like it'll just make it that much more important and special and all that stuff. So we'll have to wait and see on that. We did get some potential new details on the Taylor and Travis trip to Nashville that we discussed, them going to Nashville over the Easter weekend. Now, I want to preface, this is from Dumois. Now, if you don't know what Dumois is, it is a online, it's an Instagram account, but really just like a social media presence. It's a gossip account where people share um, if they've spotted a famous person out and about at dinner, they'll send it into this account for them to share. A lot of gossip. Not everything is truthful. Not, not everything is accurate. But we do have to admit that sometimes Dumois does get it right. They do have the correct information. They do break stories. Uh, in fact, Dumois, I think, was the first place to reveal that Taylor Swift was at the Chiefs game, that very first Chiefs game that she went to. So not always accurate. So again, take all of this with a grain of salt. But uh, we, I think, talked about it earlier this week that they were in Nashville spotted, but we have some more details. They actually went to the Soho house in Nashville with their family. Um, and they were apparently, quote, super chill and kind. They snuck them in the employee entrance and, and into the dining room that was closed off with curtains. The, play, the, pace, the place was packed and no one had any idea. So sounds like the reports were true that they went to Nashville for a bit, saw Taylor's family. Then they went to Philadelphia, spent some time with uh, Travis's family. So there's just a little bit more insight in, into that. Obviously, Soho House, if you're not familiar, there's Soho Houses across the country. And typically at those places, you are not allowed to take photos um, of people in the space. So it's a it's a place that celebrities tend to like to go to because you can be relatively private without fear of like a photo getting leaked out or uh, someone taking a video uh, a video of you or something like that. So just a quick little aside about the Nashville of it all. Um, and then to wrap it up today, we have some good news. If anyone's watching from the UK or is planning to go to any of Taylor's concerts in Europe this summer, there's some, there's some good news to share. So if you purchase a ticket to go to any of the UK shows, um, or if you live in in the UK, you might know about this. Ticketmaster had sent out some emails that basically said in, in their terms and conditions that the lead booker, so basically the, the person that purchased the tickets had to be present at the event in order for the person to get into the concert. So basically saying, and this was, I think, in a way to eliminate or to prevent there being scalpers, like so that scalpers couldn't resell their tickets. If if you say, hey, in order for you to go to the show, it has to, you, you, you have to be the person that actually purchased the ticket. I think the idea of it is smart because again, tries to cut down and eliminate the um, scalpers. But obviously it's a little stressful for anyone who has tickets, like say their parents bought them the tickets for their birthday or something. And it's the, the tickets were purchased by the mom. It's a little stressful to be like, well, now does the mom have to go to the concert and show her ID to let the kids get into the concert or or whatever, right? Or if like, you know, you can't go to the show anymore, but you gave your tickets to, to somebody else. Now, are, are you going to have to go and let them into the show? It was causing a lot of stress for a lot of Swifties. And this is a common thing in Europe. I, I've actually been to a couple concerts in Europe, and this is very normal where they'll say that they want, they'll like check IDs or they need the person who purchased the, the tickets to be present. But good news that uh, Ticketmaster sent out another email saying that the lead booker policy has been removed, meaning that the person whose name is on the Ticketmaster account uh, that purchased the tickets is no longer required to attend the event. So if you were stressed out about that, if you were worried about that, if you wanted to maybe buy secondhand tickets to go to any of the concerts this summer, no need to worry about that anymore. If you have tickets and they're valid tickets, you'll be good to go, which I think is a big relief because going to these concerts can be stressful enough and then having to worry about like having the right people involved or IDs or this, that, the other, it's just it's not worth the stress. So I, I think it's a positive thing that they got rid of that. So no one has to stress or worry about that this summer. All right, guys, that is it for today's show. Let me know in the comments your thoughts on the episode, anything else you guys want to discuss. Again, we are just full. It's going to be so much content coming at our at us in the next couple of weeks, so much to talk about, so much to break down. I cannot wait for all that's to come. So 
Again, if you're, if you're not subscribed to the channel, make sure to subscribe to the channel, follow us on social media, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye.